his wife's grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers from Jarl. Now to meet Bjorn beneath the gallows tree. I brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njal in as a cub. She and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njal, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have done like this. Nornir stitch our dooms, and none may go against the thread. We are but single threads, and who knows what pattern they weave. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. That will be a place for you in my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilda and Njal during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the River Nen to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan.
Eivor, what a oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You are most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! Gods above! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randy, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they've always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home.
gentle if they spot me. this land. is the rest of my collection and costs more than the hovel you... I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have. Octavian of London. I've a guess who your friend is. And no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? 
Oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. Take this back to Osbert. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Hmm. What have you brought for me? Wonderful. And here is something for you. I want more of these artifacts. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor.
Look soon in Send this.
be getting close. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! I won't let you defeat me! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. this thing! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you think you've won? Oh. You haven't! Liar, Frit! I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her.
Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witan with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealot? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean. Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you... ...are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said... ...that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some Bakrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnason. You would think, eh? Me, Afton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. 
He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. myself again.